Hello everyone and welcome to the first part of our UEFN course. In this case it's also the first part of uh, the Verse tutorials. And in this video I want to show you the basics of Verse and coding and what you can do with Verse and stuff like that. So as you can see right now I'm in UEFN and the first question is uh, how um, we can create a Verse file into our project. And for that you need to click on Verse here at the top then go on verse explorer and it should open something like that it could also be here or somewhere else but you need to see something like that so there need to be verse.digest unreal engine and fortnite that's very important maybe you also have assets um or another verse file from you but to create your own verse file you need to click here on your on your project name in this case it's tutorial for me then i will click on add new verse file to project and then you can see this window. On this window, you can select your name of your device. In this case, I think I will name it like Hello World device. And then you need to click on Create. And then you need to wait a little bit. So in this case, it's opening uh, Visual Studio Code. Um, if you don't have installed that, you need to um, install it on Google. So it will open that if I if you double click on your file here. What is coding and what is verse? So with the code that we are coding, we want to change something in our game. We want to manipulate it or do cool things with that. For that we have many tools and we can use them. So but now the question is what is verse? Verse is the programming language which is um, used for everything what is done in Unreal Engine 5 and also UFN is in Unreal Engine 5 so we can use verse for Fortnite. Maybe you also know some other um, languages like HTML or um, JavaScript, Java, CSS and there are much more. So we want to learn verse. Verse, as every uh, every other language, also um, reads the code from the top to the bottom. That means it will read from line 1 to line 50, or the last line. Um, in this case, we also want to do that, so I will explain from the top to the bottom. First off, in line 1 we have nothing, so it also can do nothing. So and now we have in line 1 the using and then fortnite.com slash devices. Using means the code will read everything what's in this in these brackets so the brackets contains to the using and everything that is in the brackets will be used in your code so it will it will read what's in here in fortnite.com slash devices and then it will know what to do if we are using something from there so right now i will fastly open fortnite.com slash devices you can also do that in the verse explorer here and then go to fortnite double click it that's the digest so in here you can see everything what you can use for your code. That is that are all our tools you can use to manipulate your game and do cool things. So everything what's in here you can use it and you can see it's very big. So you can use 15, uh, 5,000 5, lines of code is only things that you can use. But we are in fortnite.com slash devices. So we can press Ctrl F to search for something. In this case, I want to search for devices to find them. So, oh, there are many devices, as you can see. I will make a big D and then so Right now we are here. That is fortnite.com slash devices. That's devices, that's the module, that's the biggest part of the code. That will be read, and read from in the first time uh, you will start the game all of that would be read. So that's something that would be read. Also in line two, we have a using, which is verse.org slash simulation. There are also many methods and tools you can use also in Unreal Engine, um, the temporary diagnostics. So the next line is line four, which is empty. We can delete that. So, and now the line four is a green line with a hashtag in the front. That means the line is completely ignored for the code. It's only for you. You can write here in what you want. You can write this and it will change nothing. It will be completely ignored and the code doesn't matter what you are writing behind a hashtag. So right now we can delete that. There's a link for a documentary where you can uh, read everything what I'm explaining right now. But uh, in this case, we don't need that. So I can delete that one and that one. And also this is a not uh, important line but now we have line four the hello world device which is a class 
So that's the important st thing in your code. That's your basic code. So in here, you have everything. What's what you want to do, what you want to code is everything is in this thing. So it's a class and the class is a big part of your code where you can put many methods in and these methods can um, do what you want them to do. And in this case, we only have one method in here. So there's another not important line and the next one. So we only have one method in here, which is on begin. This is the method which will be launched by um, the, on the game start. So when the game starts, this method will be launched and method is a smaller part of your code, which can be um, done. And the one method is also as the complete code done from the top to the bottom. And that's the main thing. That's the where you code something. In this case, this method has no parameter in. So that's why the brackets are empty and it's a void method. We will later discuss what void and other things mean. But in this case, it's a void method and it can do only these two things. That's a print. So print means it can print something in your um, game. Right now, I only want to show you what print does. So I will launch the game. For that, I go back to UEFN, so my Unreal Editor. Then I will go up here to verse, build verse code. Yeah, and then it's shortly loaded because the code is not as big. So the next step is that we want to put our device that we coded into our game. So we need to click on all, then on tutorial content and then on verse device. So in this case, the verse device is hello world device. I will drag it here and then I will launch a session. So right now I'm in and you can see there's nothing special in this, uh, in this map, but if we press onto the map, so where you can press the map, you see the scoreboard and there is the lock. And in this lock, there is hello world and two plus two equals four. And that is what we've done here. So our device is working cause it's printing everything what you need to be print. So as you can see what print does, if you print something, you can see it in here in the lock. And also if you're, if you're uh, fast enough, you can see it up here in the corner that it will also show it. But uh, right now we can only see it into the lock cause it's old. And that's what print does. So now I want to show you the important things of coding. In this case, I want to create a variable, which is done like that. So first you need a variable that's uh, important, right? And then you need to name it. I, in this case, I'm only using the letter A. That's what my uh, variable is named. And then I need to define which data type this uh, variable is um, is here. Yeah. So in this case, we need to put a double dot and then we need to write our data type. There are many different data types, and but they are very the most important are uh, int, which is the short form from integer, but in verse it's called int. So you cannot write integer, but you need to write int and it equals. So now I need to write an int, um, which is, so I need to write an, an, a kind of int. So I will write zero because integers or ints are always numbers from one to, so are always numbers, so there's no limit, but it can't be a number like 0 0.8. That wouldn't be an int because that is a float. So you can write it like that float and that would be uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, something like that. I don't know. And that would be a float. So that are two very important uh, data types. And the next I want to show you is the data type um, string. That's also very basic. String is always called in these, I don't know, things there up there. I don't know. And then you can write in there something like, um, hello. So a string is every time a text. So you can write a text into a string. The next thing, which is very important, is a Boolean. So in other or in the complete um, informatic, Boolean means true or false, which is similar to a bit like one or zero um, power or not. So a Boolean is uh, true or false, but in verse, it's not called Boolean. In verse, in verse it's called logic. 
and now I need to write something which is a logic, and in this case it can only be true or false, and that would be okay. So, and the last important thing we need um, is a char. So, a char is only one letter. As you mentioned, string are many letters, but a char is only one letter. In this case, it's G, and the string contains out of many chars. So in one string are many chars. We will later learn what a string really is, but today that's what we only have to learn. And I want that you know all of these in the next part and every time. Now I want to print these things. So for that, I will write print, oh, print, then the brackets, and then I will write in the a, but that will not work because print cannot be called with an integer. So as you see, a is an integer, as you can see on the top here, but a is an int and print don't needs an int, print needs a string. So we see c is a, c is a string, I could write c in here and it will, oh, and it will definitely work. It's fine, we could do that, but if I do an a, it wouldn't work because a is not a string. I need a string, so I need to transform A into a string. So I will do another brackets and write here to string. So we have print A to string. A to string would be something like that. So this integer into a string, zero into a string would be that. And that's what to string does. So we print to string of A. We could do that for everything, so we could do A, B, which would be the float, C is the string, we have it on the top, wait, oh, no, we don't have it, oh, wait, we have it here, right there, right, it's there, so now we can do D, but D is not uh, referring to, to, to string, to string only can have um, float and uh, float and integer, but we can do E. So we can print an E, which only would be like the G then. So two string E, but we can also not print this. It doesn't work because the print function needs a string, and that's a char. A string consists, uh, so it's basically our many chars, but it also don't work because it's it's a difference between that. So that's what we can do right now we cannot print this logic cause to string which is a function from somewhere here in so it's somewhere in this uh, code which uh, is from fortnite there's somewhere to string and to string does not work with uh, logic it only works with the other things that are here so i think we we will shortly test that i pressed build verse code and then there is this button i can press it and then we need to wait shortly so as you can see there up in the corner there was hello world two plus two equals four hello zero zero dot zero five five two seven three and g and that's what we wrote because we are printing wait we are printing hello world which is there we are printing two plus two equals two plus two and by the way these brackets here stand for the calculation so it will directly calculate these uh, this thing what's in there then we have print c and in this case c is hello so that's why there's hello then we have print to string a a is zero to string it's the zero in these things here so it would be a zero then we have zero dot blah 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 which is here but as you can see it will only print the first letter so after the seven three the four five two five is not there because two string only prints the first ones so the last ones are um ignored and then we have two string of e which is the letter g and also the g is there so it works perfectly what we've done yet is working so i think that's what you need to to know that's very basic that are the basic of coding from the top to the bottom and that's it for today i hope you like the tutorial and maybe you learned something if you have some questions or things you can ask in our discord server the link is in the description and uh, you can also join us to watch some free code or something like that to learn more and communicate with others so we will see us in the next part 